Largest ever hydrogen bomb blast shown in declassified Russian video. Tsar Bomba was the most powerful nuclear weapon ever built and tested, with more than 3,000 times the power of the Hiroshima bomb. When the hydrogen bomb was tested over the Arctic archipelago of Norvegia Zemlya on the 30th of October 1961, it created the most powerful man-made explosion ever, equivalent to 50 megatons of TNT. Documentary footage opening with a caption declaring it to be top secret was released by Russian nuclear energy agency Rosatom in connection with the 75th anniversary of the nuclear industry. The video shows the massive explosion from a range of angles and distances, as well as revealing some of the work that went into building the device. According to the documentary, the Soviet bomber used to drop the device had to be coated with reflective white paint to protect it against the radiation from the blast. The bomb is also said to have been dropped with an enormous parachute to allow the plane to get far enough away before it detonated. Tsar bomber was detonated 2.4 miles, 4 km, above the ground and the explosion utterly destroyed everything within a 35 km radius. The Soviet Tsar bomber, tested back in 1961, had a capacity of about 50 million tons of TNT. The most powerful of the tested nuclear bombs was called RDS-220 or simply Tsar bomber. The video of the explosion of this hydrogen bomb was recently declassified by Rosatom in honor of the 75th anniversary of the Russian nuclear industry. The first 30 minutes of the video is a newsreel with elements of classic Soviet propaganda, describing the history of the bomb and preparation for the test. The Tsar bomber was almost 8 meters long and more than 2 meters in diameter. To transport it from the 295V bomber, it was necessary to remove some fuel tanks, as well as bomb bay hatches. Seveny Island, located in the Arctic Ocean, was chosen as a testing ground, and a bomb exploded at an altitude of 4 kilometers above sea level. At the time of the explosion, the bomber was at a distance of 120 kilometers from its epicenter, and was still overtaken by the blast wave. The plane turned over in the air, but the pilot was able to cope with control and safely landed the car. The explosion was so powerful that it resulted in a fireball with a diameter of 8 kilometers, which was visible at a distance of up to a thousand kilometers. The mushroom cloud rose up to a height of almost 8 Everest 68 kilometers, and in the houses of Norway and Finland, window panes were broken.